Hypokalemia and hyperkalemia may present with abnormal ECG changes. It's important to pick up on and treat abnormal potassium levels because they may go on to increase the patient's risk of a cardiac arrest if left untreated. So hypokalemia, low blood potassium, could present with U waves, which is a small positive wave that can be seen after the T wave. It could present with small or absent T waves. It could present with an elongated PR interval and it could also present with an elongated QT interval. And now looking at hyperkalemia, high blood potassium, one of the changes that we might see here is an absent P wave. We may also see tall T waves. They're classically described as tented T waves. And we may also see a widened QRS. So if we see any of these changes on an ECG, we ideally want to get a blood using ease test for the patient, which will show what the potassium levels are doing. 